Hey guys, this is Zally, and I'm going to show you how to set up Source SDK. Firstly, you want to go into your browser, go to www.steampowered.com. From here, you want to download Steam. Save it. You will then want to run it and go through the installation. However, this will skip I'll skip the installation since I already have it. You then want to set up you then want to create an account. Agree to do it. Put in the account name, password, and follow the directions. I already have an account. So from here, I will show you what to do. Go to the Tools tab. Wait, you want to have a source scheme installed. This, a list of them are Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Counter-Strike Source, Team Fortress 2, Portal, Dave Defeat Source, Left 4 Dead, and Left 4 Dead 2. Excuse me. Sorry, Steam friend. Go offline for now. Don't want to get interrupted again. You will make sure you have downloaded and installed the game at least once, and played the game at least once. Then go into Tools and install Source SDK. I will go ahead and launch Source SDK. You will then choose what game engine you are using. I am using the orange box with Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Y if you have Left 4 Dead authoring tools or Left 4 Dead 2 authoring tools, you can use that as well if you have Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2. Go ahead and launch Hammer Editor. And it might take a bit second for it to launch. Especially if you're using the Left 4 Dead engine. Choose a new. Hit File. New. You are ready to map for um, Source Engine already. But it should be su successfully set up. However, I'm going to go ahead and show you what each of these tools do. This is the selection tool. It, in simple terms, it selects brushes and resizes them. This is the magnifying tool. You left click to zoom in, then right click to zoom out. However, if you scroll with the mouse wheel, you can achieve the same effect. So you don't need it. The camera tool allows you to drag your camera, this thing, around. But you don't, but unless you're moving across the whole grid, you don't need it. This is the entity tool. This creates entities which are lights, player spawns, etc. This is more advanced, so in an another tutorial I will go into more detail. This is the block tool. I call it the brush tool, just for future reference. You create brushes with it, which are essentially the building blocks of all maps. See, so this is a good case to use the camera tool. To use the to zoom around in the camera and fly around and look at your map with 3D, go into the camera window. You have to make sure your icon or cursor is over it and hit Z. You can then fly around and observe your map. This is the face edit tool. You can use it to change textures and light maps. That's more detailed and create displacements, which are like terrain. You can also apply current texture. Say you select something through here, you can just hit it like that. I do not very use it very often since Face Edit offers a wider variety and some optimization techniques. The decal placement tool allows you to use decals. 
which are overlays such as signs, posters, sign posters, signs, all that fun stuff. This is the beta thing. You might not have some of these textures because I'm using it. A mix of, because I have merged Counter Strike with Episode Two, so I can use Counter Strike textures. Next, we have the overlay tool. Overlays are essentially brushes with a higher range of options available. You can resize them, you can edit them. See, it's more resource efficient to use decals, however. The clipping tool is nice because you don't want to clip displacement, so I'm not going to do that. So, where's that texture? Let's go with the simple brick texture. The clipping tool allows you to clip or snip terrain to your advantage to create stuff. The vertex edit tool is a more advanced way of doing this and what it does is morph brushes by m moving their vertexes around it's all it's more advanced so I'll go into detail later and I really just screwed up this brush here anyways the later tutorials will go into them in more detail and s so if you don't get the tools really don't worry I haven't got into much detail and I don't expect you to learn them yet. However, hopefully this will help have helped you get Hammer set up successfully and ready for the later tutorials. This has been a tutorial by Zally, or if you want you can call me Josh. And I will see you later.